Hi guys, this is uh, Wednesday and we're gonna explain the IXL. For some of you guys have problems logging in, the most important thing I can tell you, you must log in with the login and password I sent you in Gmail. Do not use your district login or any IXL accounts that are associated with your name. They are expired and I won't be able to access your score. So you may do the work and think it's recording or saving it, but it's not. So when you go to log in, something will pop up probably because we had a free version of it last year during COVID start, but it doesn't, it's expired. So it either doesn't work or worse yet, you think it works and it doesn't save your information. So this is important. Use your Gmail account, not what pops up. You have to save your new Gmail account. So your username is your first and last name, no capitalized, followed by 333, and the password I sent to you in your Gmail. If you have problems with it, let me know. So if you go into ilx.com, something, your old account thing will pop up here. You don't want to use that. Clear it out, completely clear it out, delete it out. I don't think it'll let me do it with this but completely delete, delete it out and put in your first last name followed by 333 and the password I sent you. If you don't know how to do get it, you just go into your Gmail account, do a quick search and I send it to everyone. Slow today. Da, 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 here we go. So if you just put in here, IXL, and search, search, it'll come, give you, show you where it is. Again, for me, it's going slow. It should bring you to your site, loading, going slow. But you can see I have the, all the IXLs where other people have turned it in. I see that you guys won't. So it's running slow for me. So hopefully you won't have to do this. Oh boy. Yeah, there we go. So important thing is put in your first last name. No, no capitalized 333. Put in the password I gave you. Click remember. So it will save your password for the next time. So you have to clear out your old one. Guys, please do that because I got people who are doing the work, not getting credit for it. It's going to bring you to a screen that looks a little probably different from this one, but if you go to your Google Classroom, Classwork, IXL login, see someone's turned it in. And once you fixed your login code, this will bring you directly to the site you want to go. All right, and it's going to be W2 Origins and Development of the Mali Empire in Africa. But, Mister, why are we doing Mali Empire? We were doing Native Americans, and this is made American history. Basically, the America we live in today is the combination of three worlds colliding Europe, the old world, the quote unquote new world with Native Americans and Africans who were enslaved. So, we're going to look at early African kingdoms to see how all these came together to form the society that we have in America today. We can't really understand Black Lives Matter movement unless we understand African American history. And to understand that really, we have to go back to Africa to get a good grip. All right. So it should bring you to this page. And it's going to say, get started. You click start. You're going to look over here and your goal on the thing it says get a smart score of 80 or above. So you have to go through three challenges and get four out of five correct in each challenge to move on. And I have the teacher preview. I can jump ahead to different stages. So there's going to be questions like this where you have to drag it. And there's different uh, types of questions that you have to answer. It's all going to be based on the map. This one is by the year, blah, 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 blah. And you have to find the one that fits 
that you think is the correct answer. So there's different types of questions and you click submit, all right? So we're gonna do this together a little bit, then you're gonna do it on your own. So this is what you come to when you first log in. There's always gonna be a reading, often there's a map or a picture. And yes, you have to read it, guys. You can't guess, you waste your time, you have to read it. This is work, it's gonna take a while to master. So if you look at this one, in the 1300s, several large civilizations flourished on the African continent throughout the Throughout the following questions, you will learn about the origins of these civilizations, the Mali Empire. An empire is a group of territories controlled by one central ruler or government. The Mali Empire controlled a large region in West Africa, which is located south of the Sahara Desert along the Niger River. The map shows some of these civilizations in Africa in the 1300s, select the Mali Empire. So we can see the different empires, but mister, how do we know which one's Mali? Well, what's it say? A large region in West Africa. Remember the compass rose? Never eat shredded wheat, never eat soggy worms, never eat, uh, I don't know, sour, whatever, watermelon. How do you remember it? North, East, Southwest. So Western Africa, oh, there's an empire. I wonder if that's it. It also says located south of the Sahara. There's the Sahara, never eat shredded. Yep, that's south. And it says it's along the Niger River. So it's gotta be this one, right? So you click on it, it turns dark purple. Click submit, ready? Pow, it says brilliant, you got it. So it checks off one box. We got one of the four things there. Okay, so then this one's a reading, not all of them questions, but it helps you with the context of the question. So you should read it. it. says, brilliant. What else was happening in the world in the 1300s? We were studying this in America with the Native Americans. We know what's going on with in their world. So we're looking at what's going on throughout the world at this time. So the Yan Dynasty ruled over China. During the Yan Dynasty's rule, artists created porcelain objects such as this dish. Just a little background. And don't ask me to pronounce this, I can't. The V Empire flourished in India. People in the V Empire built large temples to honor their gods. Okay. So there's great civilizations like the ones we talked about in the in Americas, and we're gonna talk about great civilization in Africa. This is giving you background information of other civilizations in the world. In Europe, a disease called the Black Death spread across the continent, killing between 30 and 60% of the population. So Europe was a mess at this time while the world was had great civilizations. When Europe starts to rise out of this this mess they're in, they're gonna to start to encounter different societies in Africa and the new world, and that's gonna change the world, and create the world we're living in, in today. So you click on that, and this brings you to another activity. Reading, map, and, and activity that you have to do. Like other African communities, the Mali Empire grew because it's access to natural resources or things found in nature useful to humans. People lived in different parts of Africa had different access to different natural resources, just like we did with Native Americans. So they had different natural resources, so they adapted different societies. So societies in Africa are very diverse because it's a diverse continent. Look at the map of some of the natural resources found on the African content, continent and follow the instructions below. So we got the map, compass rose, map key. So we see the symbols, what are these? What? Look in the map code key, and that's copper. What's in the Sahara Desert? Salt, interesting. 
But in West Africa, these symbols are gold. So I would guess that West Africa is going to be a rich kingdom because of this gold. So if you look at the map to complete the text. Many different groups of people in Africa had access to valuable natural resources. In North Africa, people could use blank in order to make cooking tools and other everyday objects. When we look in North Africa, north up, you see the symbols copper. That makes sense. You use copper to make cooking tools and everyday objects. Across the Sahara Desert, there was blank, which was useful for seasoning and preserving food. Wow, we know what you use for seasoning, preserving food, and we can see here salt. Salt was literally worth its weight in gold at the time because people didn't have electricity or any way to refrigerate their food, so you had to salt it to preserve it. South of the Sahara Desert, people in West Africa had access to lots of blank, which they used for jewelry, decoration, and money. So lots of gold. And so we read it, look at the map, do the activity, and click submit. If we look here, we've been at seven minutes, and we are here. Let's see what happens. Click submit. Wonderful. We got it right. And if you got it wrong, it'll tell you why you got it wrong and you just learn from your mistakes. So there's nothing wrong with getting it wrong, but there's something wrong if you're not trying and you're just skipping through it or trying to beat the system because you can't. So you see here, we got two out of the four to get through this challenge. So you got to get, get through the challenge. All right. How did some people collect these resources? Some resources such as copper had to be mined underground. North African copper miners traveled far beneath the surface of the earth to find the metal. And that's the copper. Gold was easier to find in West Africa. Instead of mining, people were able to collect gold from the sand and streams and beaches. And here's our gold. Other resources such as salt formed thick crusts in a few meters below the surface of the Sahara Desert. Salt traders cut these salt crusts into slabs for easy transportation. See the salt here. So even though there's no questions to this, it's important to read it because it helps you with the next ones that you got to do. Okay, we have another map activity and we see we are here, three out of four. We got to get, get four out of five to get through this stage. There's three stages, stage one we're in. You got to get through three steps of the stages or steps of the challenge in order to complete this activity. And you see, we answered two questions, eight minutes. And the cool thing about this is if you pause it or come back to it, it saves your work, but only if you logged in the way I told you to log in. Otherwise, you can do all this. And you think you're doing it, but it doesn't save your work. And we look at this one, another map activity. We have a reading activity below. All over the world, different societies traded with each other to get the resources they couldn't find at home. One resource that became especially valuable was gold. You can see that in West Africa. Even before the Mali Empire developed in West Africa, West African societies already had plenty of gold to trade with foreign regions. However, traveling across Africa was difficult. The map shows some African environments. So if we want to get the gold to other places, we got to travel across it. We want to see why it's difficult. If you look at the key here, it talks about the different climates and it's similar to what we did with the Native Americans across the US. So Mediterranean is purple up here. That's a fairly warm climate nice rain, good for growing olive trees and crops and stuff like that. That would be like an Italy and Spain type climate. The Sahara Desert, sand, you know, just sand hot, not a very good climate to uh, live in. The steppe, dry grass and brush, this area here, 
and grasslands are kind of like the Great Plains where there's not a lot of resources other than this grassy hard soil. You get down here, the green, that's a forest. So that would be like the Northeast woodlands or the, the West Coast Indians that we looked at. And down here is a tropical rainforest like you're probably familiar with the, the jungles. Okay, so based on this map, which of the following statements describes a challenge that people in Africa are trying to face when they're trying to get gold across long distances? So if you try to get through this gold up to the, up here, maybe, what's the problem? Sources of gold were near rivers. The land near rivers was lush and fertile, so it's possible for lots of people to live there. Well, that may be true, but is that a problem to traveling? Sources of gold were in North Africa. Well, stop. We know it's in West Africa. North Africa isn't gold, it's copper. Sources of gold were in the desert. Wait, what? No, 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 no. We got salt there, right? Sources of gold were in West Africa. The trade in the North, people had to cross a large desert and few places to stop. So if we want to trade up here, yeah, we got to cross this desert. So let's see if that's the correct answer. Put it in, like cement. Yeah, we got it. See, we got another check mark, all right? So then there's some reading about this. I just wanna show you what happens if you get one wrong. So I'm gonna skip to this reading, even though that's not what I want you to do. All right, hang, hang on a minute. I'm gonna have to stop. Hello. Oh, geez. <laughs> 